Myrtle. Though everyone calls me miserable, moaning, moping Myrtle, because isn't it fun to make fun of a dead girl? Anyway, I realized the other day that I had some very good life advice. Just because I'm dead doesn't mean I can't give life advice. So I thought I might share it with you all today. Number one, if someone like, say, Olive Hornby starts making fun of your new glasses, don't run into the nearest bathroom to have yourself a good cry, because you may be killed in the prime of your life by an overgrown lizard hiding in the plumbing. Instead, thank Olive for her lovely compliment on noticing your new glasses. And isn't it such a shame that she'll never be able to pull off the charm and prestige that wearing glasses affords a person. And then you just walk. <laughs> Number two, if a boy says that he's going to come visit you and then you don't see him again for another two years, chances are he's probably not the one for you. And you should really concentrate your energies on finding someone with similar life goals or, or death goals, depending on the situation. <laughs> Number three. Don't be afraid to be yourself. Unless you're a murdering psycho that likes to kill innocent girls in the bathroom, you might want to consider changing your life choices. But if you merely enjoy hanging around in the s bend of a toilet, I see nothing wrong with that. You be you. This has been Moaning Matt to give life advice. And no, I don't find it ironic. Hi guys, thanks so much for watching that. If you guys enjoyed this and would like to see more of Moaning Myrtle giving life advice, please let me know in the comments below. And if there's any questions that you would like to have Myrtle answer, you can also let me know that below. I know that she's a Ravenclaw, but I'm a Hufflepuff, so Hufflepuff represent. Please hit that subscribe button and that like button if you enjoyed this. And from now until next time, don't you forget to keep smiling.